milk cube. Hmm. I do see the appeal. Hey guys, check out these exquisite gems I dug from my shade's house backyard. Shall I take those out Ruby's remains? How dare you! Oh, well, weren't you the one who sold her innards for billions in profit a few months ago? Yeah, I'll never live down that smear campaign, will I? to retrieve him. What? But it's extremely cruel and unfair to Koini. Well, why don't you grab him? With your arms. Oh my gosh, Nika. I'm so nervous about being eliminated. How do you handle it? I have no idea. I'm super scared too. Well, I'm not. Cool story, bro. Wanna know why? It's because of my newest product, the Wind Token Printer! It prints wind tokens? What's that? They originate from before your time, Nickel! Using a wind token at cake at stake voids half your votes! I used one once! Oh my mint! Well, if that's true, can I have a wind token, dear comrade Yellowface? Mmm! No! What the penny? Why not? Because these are all for me! And also, um, because you're pink, which is not as bad as purple, but still worse than yellow. Enough talking! Let's see who won the prize, because they got the most likes from viewers. The winner is Bonnie! Yay! Spin the prize wheel! So my prize is to swap the vocal cords of two team members of my choice? Hmm, I'll pick Cody and Neil, so we can hear more of Cody's voice down here on Earth! Well, it's day 60 of being in this cash register. Oh my mint, why do I sound like Needle? None of my life makes any sense. Ugh. Bonnie, what's your secret? Every time your team has been up for voting with you, you've won the prize. Wow. So did my vocal cords swim? No way, I actually sound like Coiny. Ben, this is so surreal. Hmm, it is nice to hear his voice again, but I'm not fooled. You're still Needle, and Puffy's still on the hook to bring Coiny back. I can agree with that. Okay, on to the fun part, the elimination. If you're safe, you'll get cake. This time, the cake is a plane ticket out of this sinking clubhouse. I want that ticket. All right, the first three Woe Bunchers safe are... Bobby, Coiny, and Pin, each with around 3,000 dislikes. <laughs> no karate for me! Good luck, Spongy! Bye! Coin? Wait, who's that? Oh no, it sounds just the four of us, Nickel. It's still so weird that I sound like this. But anyway, look how shiny Yellowface's wind tokens are. Maybe he can lend us some. Don't bother. The bigot won't lend you any. Nickel and me 
channel are also safe, with 4,000 and 5,000 dislikes respectively. Phew, we didn't need them anyway. No, we didn't. You won't catch me corroding. Wishing you the best, Bungie. Bye! Oh, boy? Huh? Who's that? So now, the elimination is down to Spongy and Pepperface. Oh my Sponge Factory, I'm so nervous! But I'm not! It is time to reveal the votes! So, Pepperface, you got the most votes, so it's the end of our road for you! I use my wind token! Oh, it's a bit late to be playing tokens, but I'll accept it because I'm nice! Which means, Yellowface, your effective vote count is reduced from 21,683 to 10,841. Oh my yay! That's still the highest though! Not for long, because I'm gonna play my second win! What? Huh? What was that? Mother of Color Wheel! It can't be! <laughs> it is I, Purple Face! And I have stolen your win tokens! You fool! You clown! You absolute chromatic aberration! Yes, calling for duty! Purple face! Time and time again, you've proven you have no morals! The host of this show will not stand for your crimes of theft! I will stand for it! You're not helping my case, Puffy. Yellowface, since you don't have any win tokens left, you have been eliminated! Oh, uh, Puffy! Trying to have a climactic stand up with my main rival right now. Main rival, you say? <laughs> Don't you mean fashion inspiration? That's ludicrous. <laughs> then why are you wearing my shoes? Oh, huh? total slip shoes so well. Oh. Well, you do seem like you have a lot of rifts in your friendship. I'll let you sort those out in private. Those were the ugliest shoes I've ever seen! Well, lucky for you, I'm planning on manufacturing a thousand more! That's unacceptable! I will not let you do that! And how are you gonna stop me, genius? My latest product! Go. My beryllium fortress, destruction impossible! Resistant to acid, and takes six plus years to break through! And for you, a hundred percent off! <laughs> well, they sure are noisy. Hopefully they're resolving their issues. Wait, what's all this acid around me? Oh, why is this locked? Uh, let me out. Already billions of miles away. I'm not here. 
responsible for Ruby Pencil and Tennis Ball's deaths. <laughs> You're a cute little murderer. Hey, you better watch what you say. Wanna catch these hands? Uh, looks like that's not happening. Hi, TV. Let's see what my gesture is. I'm blowing out a candle. Hey, that's not too hard. Oh, oh, oh. What is Pence Pence doing? Let me guess, Ruby. You think that... Is Pence Pence unclogging a yo-yo toilet? <laughs> Bunch has lost a member. Now they are down to five. Four if you don't count Coiny. The other teams also have four. I am sad about Spongy's death, but at least he's in a better place now. 
Where am I? What is this place? Hello? Ben, I can't tell what Fries is trying to do. Gelatin? Yeah? Did you mean it when you said it couldn't build a good shield last episode? Oh. Wait, you could hear that? I thought the chambers were soundproof. Well, I've been trying to read lips ever since you and Fiery left the team, so I could tell what was happening with Free Smart when they were far away. Oh, well, that's impressive, but I didn't mean it about the building shields thing, okay? It was just a joke. It isn't a joke to me. My trebuchet failed, and now my shield failed. Are you calling me a failed inventor? No, 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 I'm not. Golf Ball's the one with the factory. Golf Ball's the one with the dream sauce. Everyone listens to her because they think she's the good inventor and I'm the bad one. That's not true. That's not true. Well, uh, actually. Let's do this. Ooh, I know just what to do. OMPF, you're coiny. <laughs> it's like I got the voice and Bommy's got the pose. Together we're the whole package. <laughs> He's so funny! Oh my god, so funny! Hee <laughs> hee, my turn now. Let's see who I get. Uh... Yeah, 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 no way! You're gelatin! Ha 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 ha! so I can't wait to see who I gotta do. Ah, well, Corny was a trickster, so I can be a trickster too. Oh my mint! You're Puffball when she betrayed Team No Name! This is too much. All right, who do I get to imitate? non existy Oh God, I, I don't even know what he looks like. I uh guess I'll channel my inner non-existent self. <laughs> um, what is Nickel doing now? Oh dear, I don't think Nickel understands the rules of this game. What's going through Nickel's head? His brain must be empty. Now forgive him, Pin. Everyone can be a blithering dum-dum sometimes. You're right, like you up and are when we need you the most. The, the app is there. I might have one more shot at this. I gotta pull this candle the best I ever have. Time to use my finest exhaling technique. You brought me back to life! No way! Is that Bubble? Yay! You are okay! Technically, the answer to Pencil Charade is not Bubble, so that is an incorrect answer, Ice Cube. <laughs> Free Smart is down to three living members. Blue Lunch has five, and Team No Name has four. Dear Soap Bubble, hooray! I must express my unbounded elation that you have returned. Where have you been all this time, Bubble? I am not Bubble. E.U. Spongy, why do you look like that? You're even uglier than I remember you, which is saying a lot. I humbly request you to stop acting so impolite, Pencil. Furthermore, I will also request you look at yourself. Macaroni dance? Oh, that's an easy one. I used to do this all the time at parties, and I can even do it with my eyes closed. Left arm out, right arm out, left palm up, right palm up, left shoulder. What is Pin doing? I have no idea, but it's so dumb, I'll crush you out of spite. Apple, orange, banana! Oh no, not my fellow sharp ally. Well, Bommy, now it's down to you and me. Technically, Corny's still out there, so Womunch is at three living members. FreeSmart and Team No Name also have three. Remember, whichever team loses all their members first is up for elimination. What? How am I gonna do with that? Hmm, I got an idea! Oh, I know! It's Icy's ugly face! <laughs> Pencil better be glad she's not here to witness this. What's she doing now? Hmm. Upside down face? Uh, no, handstand face. Uh, oh my word, what could it be? Duh, it's Icy's beautiful face. No, oh, because it's inverted. Wow, Icy, I'm honored to have witnessed your face of beauty. You're welcome. Dear Erasable Drawing Utensil, have you any conception of what is happening right now? Warmest greetings, American five cent denomination, potato based consumable, and push pin. I like you three have no conception of what is happening right now. That is sorrowful news. I would like to alert you, the combustion happening near me is at a temperature far above my comfort level. Combustion, unfortunately, I am unfamiliar with the definition of that word. Oh, 
You mean fire. You are correct in your assessment. Congratulations to us for our clear communication. Congratulations to us for our clear communication. I would like to join the conversation too. What could that be? Oh, Gelatin's the Cinder Scoop Thrower! Okay, so my next phrase is... Oh, my tennis ball factory! There's no way that's real! My word is... Playing Toss the Dirt? Really? I thought you said you couldn't read! Book? I thought these chambers were soundproof! Really? I was reading your lips! Book? I just love that I couldn't read! So I can gain some sympathy points from Leader Pencil! Both of you! Reading lips is against the rules, so as punishment, I will blindfold book!
Dr. Reeks, I find it of utmost importance to deduce how we were transported to this alternate dimension. Dear Pushpin, it is my belief that we are here because we reached a state incompatible with life in the overworld, all in the same manner and by the same compressing apparatus. Dearest American five cent denomination, what is your implication? Because they we all got crushed by trash compactors, and that's how we got here. I don't know why you're talking like that, but I'm not gonna do it. Cherished compatriots, I must posit that the speech of this deluded fellow was of extreme difficulty to understand. I concur. <laughs> what is Thomas Ford doing? I have been pulled here for three months and gosh darn it, I am so glad! Uh, this is like the beginning of an object show I watched recently. Wait, what's going on with the film? It's lighting up, I... Uh, I can't believe my eyes. Is the moon freezing out the shape of... Uh, no, it can't be. I see the sun is full of acid. Yay, I've been wrapped. And now I'm free from the trash compactor. Hey, that's my boisterous boy, TB. I have no idea how you did that, but I'm glad you're out. Well, yeah, it was thanks to my laser printer that I constructed. I'm not too shabby of an inventor after all, am I? <laughs> no, uh, I guess you're not, but, uh, we should... We should what? Appoint me the title of best inventor ever? No, we should. Time go for what's going on. I'm out! Oh, I'm TB off! I'm out! I'm finally free of that science for second tree after all this time! Ah! Uh, I can finally move my legs around again! Is it freedom nice? <laughs> what is going on now? Oh, don't worry, Goofy. This is an easy challenge. Just read the phrase on the display and gesture it. And then if we guess it correctly, you'll be free! Thomas Burr! Right. The chambers are soundproof! Oh no! Bob Bob doesn't know what to do in there! So I just sprinkled some water on it and voila! Gelatin, stop fighting with Needle and guess my gesture already! God, I forgot about you, TB! How could I? Uh, you're trying to depict, um, TB? Slow down, please! I'm trying my hardest to figure it out! Uh. Oh, I see. As TB's greatest friend, I know what I'm supposed to say here Tennis ball. You are the greatest inventor to ever exist! That's not the answer. What? I swear that was the moral of the story, right? Gelatin. More like thing to step in. Phew! I was just about to explode under the pressure. And with Gelatin's team eyes, Team No Name has fully died off, which means they are up for elimination. Viewers, click the links in the description to give likes and dislikes to each Team No Name member's YouTube video. Whoever gets the most likes will get a prize, and whoever gets the most dislikes will be eliminated from the Battle for Dream Island again. See you all in BFDIA 10! How did we get off so easy? You know, I see. I think after our trash conductor shattered, Puffy just forgot to give us a new one. So that's why she let us walk off scot-free. Wow, sometimes the best strategy involves destroying things. True. But where's Pencil? Admired acquaintances, I warmly appreciate your gracious company. However, I am still combusting, and I am frankly disappointed none of you are taking initiative to assist me with this matter. I ain't helping someone who called me ugly. 